Hey everybody, so today we have this Lenovo. It's an IdeaPad 3. You can see it's not having a, the most fun time uh, being here, and that's because it's in its recovery mode. And pretty much the client just wants us to reinstall the operating system. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's uh, They just got the, the computer like a month ago or something, and then they had a problem with their operating system. They just want to reinstall it. Uh, they had a bit locker. They don't care about the data. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, wipe it for them. You got to have like something like this, or there's a, there's a little recovery port on the side of these things. So, ah, there you go. Couldn't see it. So you, you tap that, and then you're going to be greeted by the boot menu screen. Um, and what we're going to do is we're obviously going to go to the boot menu because we do have our Windows installer there. So we're just going to go ahead and see so it sees that there is a drive there. And it does see that um, there is a USB there too. And that's where we're going to be booting to the, the USB. But the drive is there when you see that part, but it's not here when you see uh, this part. Custom install. And it says we don't, we can, we couldn't find any drives to get a store driver, click load driver. We tried that. We actually have a video on our HP. Uh, we actually have an HP one that we showed about this, about the storage driver. Uh, this is not the case for this one because this is a unique case. You did see even before we booted this when we hit to the boot menu that it did show that there was a drive there. So what's really the problem? Well, funny that you ask. Uh, this one actually does have, uh, it says a Core i3, and this is the i3 11 5G4. And why is that important? Well, if we actually go here, we actually did look this up, and we did find something on a support page. And the funny thing about this is it's on the support page for a different system, not for our system, because we went to, we use our model, serial number and everything. It didn't show this one. Now it goes to this and it says the NVMe SSD PCI device will be invisible when Intel VMD is enabled. So um, we're like, well, this is interesting how it comes up because uh, even if you search this on a Google search, this is like the fourth one down, which is kind of strange, and it just comes up as this. It's not R1 in particular, but it also does say that there's a lot of affected uh, configurations here. IdeaPad 3 15 itl 5 and this has a very similar problem. So we're going to go back to our uh, camera here and we're gonna go back to the boot menu so we're gonna turn this back off and then we're gonna go see if we do have this Intel VMD go through that recovery again we're going to go through the BIOS setup alright so we're going to the configuration tab and then what you want to do is you want to go to the Intel VMD controller and it doesn't say anything about the information on the side there but when you actually click it you go to disable and when you go to disable you do get uh, it says SATA configuration or SATA controller mode and it says A CHI and it uh, goes to the SATA controller mode. This model actually does have an NVMe drive, which is a little bit more interesting. But I was wondering if we were just going to put in a SATA drive if it was going to work, but what's the point? Because that defeats the point of install operating system, then you had to go down a different rabbit hole. So we're going to go there, and what we're going to do is we're going to save our configuration. So you go to F10, you just save, and then you save and exit. Install now. Okay, sign your life away, custom install, and now we have our partitions and we have our drives there. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did find this informative, please leave us a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. So go over stuff uh, like this because we are a computer shop. We always like to just do nice goodwill and inform you guys of anything that we just see here or anything that makes our concern to, that we notice um, that's not straightforward and that you guys should know anyways. Lenovo is still one of the most popular brands out there. So we know you guys will definitely have this, this video very uh, useful and informative. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.